Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm going to be covering something that's really close to my heart, but it's also very new, but at the same time I feel like as soon as I discovered this, it kind of snowballed and now it's like the way that I perceive everything, so definitely excited to share this with you. This is all about the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and how we have both inside of us and that is truly where our Divine Union actually begins. So, so many of us in this patriarchal society have been programmed and conditioned to lead with our masculine. Now, it's not only that we lead with our masculine, but we lead with a wounded masculine, which is the problem, right? If we were leading from a very powerful, embodied, healed masculine, it wouldn't be such a terrible thing. But the men and the women right now are repressing their femininity so much that it's wreaking havoc on their energy, on their health, and other on their life as well because it really does impact your relationships immensely right so i just wanted to kind of cover the introduction to what the two energies are and how you can differentiate between them because i myself kind of understood the concept but until i really understood the concept more like understood i began to be able to work with the concept and now i'm realizing how beneficial it is for me and my clients as well i just want to kind of introduce you to the concept we both hold the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine counterparts within us. We need to be in balance. Really, in the perfect world, we'd have a perfect balance of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So what do these look like, feel like? What are the differences? Well, the Divine Masculine, if you were to sum it up quite in a short amount, <laughs> it would be the Divine Masculine is all about knowing and understanding. So it's a logical type of way of looking at things another way to perceive it is arrow consciousness arrow being directional goal orientated structured linear lines the divine feminine seeks to feel and experience so that means intuitive really being in the moment flowing with the moment no lines cup consciousness which is round like the womb it is cyclical and it doesn't have sense. It's nonsensical and it's very flowing and emotional. So she wants to feel all the things and experience all the things. And the masculine seeks to know the things and understand the things. But without each of them combining, then you kind of have a half life, a half truth, a half embodiment, right? If you can imagine the masculine wants to always be with its feminine counterpart because he seeks to, to, to feel and experience as well as know and understand. So he needs that to come through. And the divine feminine, while she's always in her feelings and experiencing, needs the logic and the groundedness of the masculine so that she can fully be held in all that she is and experience and feel with more depth as the masculine also will have much more depth when he allows experience and feeling and being in the moment. So now that you have that kind of understanding of the two types of consciousness, arrow consciousness, cup consciousness, you can start to see how inside of you, you may be leading with one or the other. As I mentioned earlier, most of us have been leading through our masculine and a wounded masculine at that, which ends up being really tough because there's all that rigidity and all that kind of structure with no room for feeling, with no room for movement, with no room for compromise. And every single one of us has emotions, men, women, or anything in between. We have these emotions that need to be expressed, that need to be felt. And we have suppressed them down and down. And that only adds to the wounded nature that we are carrying. And that is in the way of our relationships, that's in the way of our success, that's in the way of our joy. Because there's always that feminine inside of us. There is a feminine in you, man or woman, that is craving. Craving to feel. Craving to be in the moment and do what she feels like. With no sense. Just doing it. Just being in the moment, right? That presentness, that intuitive nature, the kind of gypsy free soul. We all have that person inside of us, but we deny them. This is just an introduction. I'm not going to delve too deep, but just that in itself really excites me. Because if we really take on this concept and understand how we ourselves 
are leading me, how masculine or leading me, how feminine or when certain circumstances, relationships and life situations tend to bring out certain things in us, then we can start to see where we can jump in with our other counterpart and fix it up. For example, the other day I was so in my emotions with this uh, new moon. It was extremely emotional and I was in a loop of emotion. I just kept feeling and feeling and crying and feeling and crying. And I reached a point where I realized, oh my goodness, I'm just like stuck in this loop because I'm in my feminine and I haven't let my logical masculine come to the rescue and help me see why, why I'm feeling the things to logic my way out of it. I'm a writer, so I absolutely love writing things out. And that's the easiest way for me to get kind of logical and get kind of a perspective on my feelings. And as soon as I started writing it out, it just it lifted because it allowed me to find my way through my emotions. And that could work the other way as well. If you're too in your head and you're not letting yourself feel, you'll be looping and looping with the same issues with no way out because you're not allowing yourself to feel the issue. You were just thinking like, how can I get out of this? What can I do? You have to feel it. Sometimes you have to feel it and just cry or you have to feel it and get angry or you have to let it out because your body is energetic and you need to process and integrate your emotions. When the two can come together, that really allows for a full spectrum of life experience and knowing. And so the feeling and the inner standing the knowing and the experiencing come together and really allow you to be whole. Whole. So, yeah, I really hope this was of service to you and that you understand a new way of looking at yourself and perceiving even others. And in that regard, you can also kind of figure out how to act towards others if they are in their feminine or if they are in their masculine. You could have a better insight into what they're going through if you kind of understand the two energies, right? I really hope this was helpful to you and your beautiful soul. Please do consider subscribing if this was of service. Sending lots of love. Namaste.